You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, continuing my playthrough of various uh, PlayStation titles running on the PlayStation Classic. And this time I'm playing Starblade Alpha. This is another early title from Namco. It's an arcade game, although this has slight uh, upgrade on the graphics. And some of you may be familiar with this game because it's like the loading screen in Tekken 5 on the PS2. Kind of like how the how Galaga was. Or sorry, Galaction was in... Um, oh no, wait, Gal Galaga. Galaction for Ridge Racer, Galaga for Tekken. So yeah. And that's weird. This is the first part of the game. And it's already presented to you as a uh, CG intro, I guess. So it plays like those FMV, early FMV games. Uh, where you just move the cursor and everything seems to move via... Like a video, it's already like a pre-recorded thing and e even the enemies feel like they're pre-recorded already and it's on rails and uh, yeah from the looks of it you know this is the kind of this is what our imagination would uh, run with if we say futuristic uh, sci-fi shooter So yeah, that's it. You're actually just controlling the crosshair there and press buttons for you to shoot. You have some life bar there, your shield actually. You can actually have some fun with this game, although it can get old in a while because it feels like you actually lack the freedom of uh, flight because everything moves for you like there's a uh, you're like helming only the main weapons of your ship and someone else is uh, doing the flying So it does lack that immersion. And sometimes the enemies feel like, uh, you know, they're just really passing by. You don't feel any immediate threat. Although you could die from them. See, um, all those ships just passing you by, it's just really a wonder if uh, they could actually kill you. Of course they can, but it just doesn't feel that way. It is an interesting game, could have been a lot better. Um, Let's try it a few times. If you're curious to how these rail shooters went by in the early 90s, there's actually a lot of uh, these types of games before. Um, this one is um, like the early 3D ones because uh, I know 
for sure the earlier ones are like uh, FMV games. You'll see them on uh, like the 3DO or Sega CD. Oh, I'm dying. And I'm dead. All of a sudden. For example, after Burner 3, kind of like that's this game. Of course, that one is um, like a FMV game. And you just move the cursor around. Yeah, kind of like this one. This one is uh, like a pre-recorded CG, I guess. So I think it's still a FMV game by definition. If you're a fan of, uh, say, Star Fox, this isn't the game you're looking for. <laughs> this plays nothing like it. This is nothing like Afterburner. The first or second one at least. The third one, yeah. It's more like the third one. I think this is more of the stuff you would find in uh, like VR games. Um, I, I don't know, to be honest, because I don't really do VR. But yeah, I could already imagine, you know, if you're wearing like a VR headset, this is what you'd expect. Maybe on higher resolution graphics, of course. Um, full HD, stuff like that. Explosions everywhere. So, after a while, it does get tiresome. Hasn't been even a few minutes. I mean, hasn't been uh, like 10 minutes yet, at least. But you should remember this was an arcade game and we're playing like uh, I guess their idea of an HD remake back then because the polygons have more details right now as opposed to just floating blocks of silver. And I think uh, yeah, I died again. That's it for this video. This has been Starblade Alpha running on the PlayStation Classic thanks to RetroArch. And I do not recommend this game at all. Um, maybe if you're curious about how early games are, eh, go ahead. If you're a fan of the early Namco titles, arcade games, yeah, sure. Um, other than that, yeah. you're not missing a lot, trust me. And thanks for watching 8 bit days a week. You're watch. Uh, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Please catch me for more videos in the future, playing out more PlayStation titles on PlayStation Classic.